All right, hey, we're going to set up here and try to work on the Jeep. I got my uh, partner, my helper here today, Cinder. She's going to hang out. A little bit cold and windy outside, so she's uh, just going to hang here in the shop. So what I want to do is eventually get to these spark plugs. Uh, they are totally totally corroded up you can see like there's not even like six sides to these things hardly anymore there's this jeep sat outside under the tree line and those little pockets filled up with water and gunk I cleaned them all out sprayed it down with the pb a while back so we're going to see what we can get to there but first i want to take this radiator off because I don't know if it's good enough shape to use again or not, but I'd rather not have it on there and beat it all up, you know, knock some holes in it. So I'll try to get it out of the way. I took this uh, brace off a while back. Pretty simple. Just bolts onto the hole there. Two nuts over here. Definitely got to make sure you hold a wrench on both sides of those nuts. Um, keep it from spinning. You can see where we pulled it a little bit off of that weld. Just because it was so rusted, it was twisting on that bracket a little bit. And yeah, got to really kind of be careful of that. So not a whole lot to these. So it's just a matter now of, you know, working on this bolt nut over here. Take this one off. I can. And then this one over here. The issue with them is they're so rusted. Like everything's going to be. Look at all that rust. I mean, this is just going to be a battle from start to finish, I think, on this whole thing. So I'm going to set the camera up here and. Uh, Probably spray a little PB blaster on that bolt again. Put some on there a while back and hit it with a wire brush. But uh, probably hit it again and get a wrench on it. See what happens. So I get everything going here in a minute. <laughs> Oh man, turn the whole bracket and all. Pretty sure we're gonna just totally break that completely out of there. Can't see the bottom of the radiator. And that goes up. So pretty sure that's gonna twist that right off of there. It's turning the whole bolt like I'm gonna have to see. What's on top? The 
get the bolt all the way through. Or like, is this? Get lucky head on it somehow. I'm not sure. On there. Yeah, great. Looks like some sort of anchor bolt that head is obviously turning. The other one's up underneath the radiator here. Which means there's no way we can get a hold on it. So Clean this one out a little bit more. See if we can learn here. I don't know. Just gonna have to give that another whirl. See what happens. Looks like it caught. All right. Maybe the head just need to turn a little bit on that upper part and get caught into the grooves. But it actually looks like the nut is turning on this one, at least. So. Yeah, look at that. Having to kind of like, you know, trick. And maybe days, maybe mechanic days here, right? So I'm like, yeah, cool, got my thumb. I like putting two wrenches together here, right? Creating some leverage. Get this thing loosened up. But obviously, by the look of my thumb here, got to be careful with that. It's not exactly like OSHA improved here. But I doubt they're going to show up. All right. <sighs> Washers getting loose, so. That's a good sign. They we're actually getting somewhere, not just like destroying it. <sighs> yeah, it's coming loose. So I'm gonna let that soak a little more. And we're gonna go over to this one. All right, so you can get the camera to settle on it. Where'd it go? There it is. All right, so let's do the same thing over here that I did on this one. See how bad that threads look on that thing? That's horrible. So, what I did is I sprayed it down a while back. With the PB blaster, right? I mean, like a month ago, probably. I haven't been out working on this thing much. 
I'll get a bunch of that junk out of there best we can. All right. I'm trying to do it away from my face so I don't get this uh, rust like, coming back in my face here. Just clean that up best that we can. Get the big loose junk out of there. All right, and then look at all the rust and junk that's like falling out of this thing. All right, like every time I move my hand, it's all rust, metal. And I ask myself again, what did I get myself? Like that's off of that nut, the steering linkage. Talk about biting off more than you want to chew here. Oh, yeah. Okay. Now we're going to hose this down a little bit with the old PB. All right. I'll let it soak. And I'm going to go. I'm going to go work on that other one. And. And we'll see what happens. All right, guys. So I'm using this regular wrench here, right? The only place I could really get any leverage on it was right here. And you can't really see it, but like I'm straight off of it. It's not really going anywhere this way. Really catch it, but I'm having to take the wrench off and back on, right? Every time, and it's really stiff to work on that thing. So, well, maybe I can get a ratchet on it, right? You watch the video of my nephew trying to steer this thing, it's not good, right? So, that's on there, but it's, I try this deep well, on there, but it's crooked, so. It's not going to last very long like that. It's just going to, the angle is going to get worse as the nut goes down and just probably ruin the socket. So, all right, well, maybe a regular socket, right? With the extension, which is great right there. But as soon as it starts going down, it's going to hit this linkage and we're going to have the same thing going to get caught in there at worst at best it'll round off the nut or the socket also as it comes down so i don't remember it's my birthday christmas something like that my santa claus i don't know it seems like santa claus brought me these so this these are really handy right it's got a flexible head on it and a ratchet deal inside of it i get the best of both worlds here so i decided to grab this i haven't really used it might get more leverage out the side here so i'm pulling straight back on the wrench instead of trying to work it from the front it's going to go a lot faster as i can keep that on there i've been trying to do it with a regular wrench but anyway, I just want to show you guys that, uh, you know, when you work on airplanes and cars, anybody that's a mechanic, for any length of time, good gosh, you can like beat yourself up and go nuts. But if you're fortunate enough to find the right tool for the job like this, and you're fortunate enough to think about it in time to make a difference. That's usually what I run into. I don't think about it until I'm like done. It's like, oh man. Anyway, you can see this is going 
way better knock on wood than I actually thought it was going to. So I almost, almost got this bad boy off. Okay. So just spun off. Look at there. Done. Unbelievable. Probably been on there since 1946. At least uh, the romance of all this uh, would have you believe or want to believe. All right, so I'm going to turn it back off and we'll meet up again once we get the other side off. All right, so we're working on removing a nut on the passenger side of this radiator so you can see that little bracket up there the holes in it that's supposed to be welded to the front of the radiator but uh, obviously it's rusted off so we'll try to give this thing a wiggle pull the radiator out here all right there we go everything's loose Ready to pull off. All right. Set it down here. Looks like the brackets are doing good. Nothing's corroded, rusted, broken off. So, good news there. Got a couple of areas pulled out of the front of the core here. I don't see anything broken though, so the veins look good. A bunch of cooling fins could use a little help to get those straightened out. There's where that bracket's supposed to be welded on down at the bottom. Straighten these fins out. Well, just have to see if it'll hold water. That'll be the big thing, especially this tank down here. See what we got in here. Oh boy. Definitely a reverse flush needed on this. Bracket's still good. Not broken off or anything. Still don't like that. Nice open view of the engine now. That's good. All right. Here's a little trick, right, from the airplane days. Best way to lose all your stuff is to set it off to the side or put it in a bag or something like that. So it's best to just, just put it back where it came from. So even if you're not going to reuse it, you're going to replace it. You'll at least know what came off of it in the first place. So, this on here. It's a little bit tough. Tighten it up. Yeah. I guess it's definitely not going to come off while it's sitting around, so that's a good thing. Come back on. And let's put the thing away. There's a water pump. Man, that thing is just flat, corroded, and there's no way. All right, so throwing the radiator in the back of the Jeep here. And uh, we'll see you on the next uh, bit of fun.